What up YouTube, it's your boy Anime Specialist, so this was Dr. Stone episode 2 and it was pretty good man, I liked it a lot, there's kind of a lot to talk about so let's get right to it man. So in last week's episode, Senku was able to discover the formula to, you know, turn people back from being in stone. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought that the first person that they were gonna use this substance on was a Yuzu, Yuzu Ira or something like that. I don't remember her name exactly, but it's basically Taiju's lover. And I really thought that they were gonna use it on her first, but it didn't actually happen. Obviously from what we've seen in last week's episode and in this week's episode when someone turns back from being into the uh, stone state They're naked, you know, they don't have clothes. So that's why uh, Taiju didn't want to use the substance on Yuzu Ira right now because she would be naked So he wanted to put some uh, clothes onto her and that's when it got really funny man because uh, obviously Yuzu Ira is made of stone right now so she's really fragile, she's easy to break and the way that Taiju and even uh, Senku was holding her was really careless man. I don't even know if she's gonna survive, I don't even know if they're, they're gonna be able to you know kind of revive her and get her out of her. A stone state right now so I, I i don't know anything i don't know if she's gonna survive but the way that they were holding her while being chased by lions it was careless man i was scared that she would die so that was kind of a funny moment but at the same time it was scary because i don't want her to die she seems to be a really good person and you know she's a taiju's lover quote unquote so uh, the way that they were able to survive the lions is by reviving um some guy uh, they said that he's the strongest primate or something like that so he's a really really strong guy and uh, they showed it to us in this week's episode man he was able to kill a lion with like one punch or something like that so he's able to go head to head with a lion uh, which is uh, crazy and he's able to uh, you know break rocks or something like that he's able to do a lot of things he's really really strong stronger than a normal human being you know so uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later too but yeah man he's the third human to be um, you know to be revived from um, uh, the stone state uh, hopefully we'll see Yuzuhira uh, be revived in um, the next few episodes but one of the things that we still don't know is the, how much time does it take to uh, you know um, create that substance that turns back human back to from uh, being into the stone state you know I really want to know how much time it will take Senku to create um, the substance once again by the way i forgot to say his name but the strongest primate quote unquote his name is shishio tsukasa and because he's the strongest he's the one that is going to hunt uh, for food you know for meat uh, obviously senku is the brain and uh, taiju is you know he's strong too but he's going to do a more simple thing than hunt because he's not as strong as shishio but uh, uh, we saw something pretty interesting we saw senku use a special kind of a special technique that for us is normal but he was smoking fish so uh, the reason he was smoking fish is because um when you smoke something when, when you smoke a kind of uh, food it preserved them uh you know longer you know it preserves longer so uh, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting that they showed it uh, in this week's episode and in this show So that's one of the things that they'll do to preserve food uh, longer, especially meat There's something that Senku said is gonna be really important for the human race to bring them back to the top and that's a uh, calcium carbonate the reason why he said that is because it's gonna be useful to four things he said agriculture construction and soap he never revealed what the fourth thing was i think maybe it's it's gonna be used for weapons or something like that because it showed a little glimpse of maybe you know a bow or i don't know a weapon you know so we'll see maybe in next week's episode but uh, also some things that we saw is that um 
um, Shishiho uh, kind of broke a rock and uh, inside that rock there was someone in stone you know so that's kind of crazy that that someone didn't break uh, from the impact of the rock and uh, Shishio's fist or that she didn't break since she was inside or under the rock you know but something that i really liked in this week's episode is the conflict between shishio and senku because shishio doesn't want to revive every single human being he only wants to revive the youth and the pure of heart because there's something i think that happened in his childhood with you know a grown-up and because of that he doesn't want to bring back grown-up he only wants to bring back you know uh, youngings and uh, he basically said that if um, you know you revive every single human being the rich uh, the guys that are, were used to be rich the guys that were used to have property uh, they will want their property their property back and they will want you know to control things you know so that's his reasoning and that's fair you know but at the same time everyone deserves a second chance even though you know there may be murderers you know that's the risk to revive everyone but there may be murder murderers criminals you know so that's a risk but uh, you know the conflicts the conflict was uh, you know that shishio does doesn't want to bring back everyone but seku wants to bring back everyone to you know revive you know the human race so that they can go back to being at the top of the food chain you know because in this week's episode we saw they're not at the top of the, f of the food chain they needed shishio to defeat the, the lions so that they could survive you know so they will be chased by lions maybe we'll see in other episodes they'll, they'll be chased by tigers we don't know you know so that was a pretty interesting conflict in my opinion but yeah i don't trust shishio at all right now we'll have to see what's gonna happen in the, in the next few episodes with him if we'll be able to gain his trust but yeah man let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below and let me know what you think is gonna happen next i like this episode a lot especially the end with the conflicts with uh, senku and uh, shishio we'll see what's gonna happen with that but uh, so far I like this series hopefully it gets better and better but um, I do Dr. Stone uh, reviews every Friday so subscribe for that and I also do other anime related things like Black Clover reviews on Tuesdays like I said Dr. Stone reviews on Fridays I also do uh, Fire Force reviews on Fridays uh, the second episode of the season is gonna go out in a few hours um, I do One Piece reviews on Saturdays and Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer reviews on Saturdays also so uh, stay tuned for that and you know right now the One Piece anime is in the Wano arc one of the best arc of the series I think so uh, I've heard a lot of great things about the Wano arc and so far in the anime the animation and art is amazing there's a new director for the series so that's one of the reason why the first episode of the Wano arc was amazing and the new opening was great even though there was a lot of spoilers but uh, I can't wait for this next episode man anyway uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video man anime specialist out peace